All right, let's do this. Doing a video and I was just actually recording and now I'm trying again and I realize I'm the type who, you know what? I prefer to just do the video through and I don't care if I make a mistake because it's really important for me to just trust God's flow through me. So this is going to be Dan interrupted. I'm going to share God's message. I do have a, a card reading. A lot of beautiful things happening in my life right now. And I can also tell there's some really big ways that God wants me to expand my loving. Really blessed with a new job right now. There are so many wonderful things about it. And it means a lot to me to be blessed with this opportunity. And I can see areas that I'm really succeeding and I can see areas of growth. Same thing with uh, my twin flame relationship. There's some really wonderful things going on and then some really deep challenges. So in a way, this is a really juicy place to be because that means there's ripe for a lot of growth. And I hope that this also blesses you in your journey and that we all benefit from this. So I'm pulling from the hero's journey, uh, dream oracle. And without further ado, let's see that first card, see what God's message is today. Oh, wow. I already love this. Whale of a time. Your charge is to enlarge. Wow. <laughs> so the first thing I feel of this, so my job is offering me an incredible opportunity to expand financially from where I was at. The commission opportunity is basically six figures. And this is not even, they're not even joking. Like um, I just finished my first month here and I basically hit all the marks and I'm making an incredibly generous commission check. And basically if I were to repeat this month, my first month, just learning on the job, um, I would be making a six figure job significantly more than where I was before. And I feel very blessed and it's, it's God inviting me to enlarge. And of course, as I'm stepping into this next phase, it's of course sabotage, uh, or like I would say growth and maybe some areas where I sabotage myself, some areas where I just purely need to grow. Um, and so I accept that basically when we are enlarging, um, we're going to have challenges. And so I really, I choose to accept that like God wants me to get much bigger. It's, it's time and finances is a big part. I spend a lot of my life working as we all do and a lot of my life paying off debt. And I, I believe part of this card is like, it's time to go from debt to abundance. Uh, you know, I'm selling furniture and really nice, like middle to high end furniture. And that's God saying, it's time for you to prepare for your home, your married life, uh, a new level of abundance for yourself to share with the world, to uh, live at another level. I also want to um, especially go deeper in my life purpose, which are these videos and sharing the message of Jeff and Shalia. And that means I need to take my life a lot more seriously because this message to me is like really important, very serious. Um, since moving to Madison, I've been um, definitely enjoying myself, but not receiving the right balance in my life. Uh, the teaching is for me, my, it's my mission and my life's work. And the class I'm watching right now is all about love and what love means, which is all of you given to another freely without expectations or conditions. And for me, sharing this message is love. And it's important for me to study the teaching, embody it, and share it. And so, you know, enlarging is me making more space for God and his love. And it's really coming through at work. Um, it's coming through my twin flame union, although there are lots of challenges, I'm learning to recognize that your twin flame loves you through the challenges. And I'm, I'm experiencing that right now. Uh, we're being called to clear a lot. And so I claim this, uh, I have a lot to say about this, but I'm really ready to enlarge my life. 
expand my life. And I invite you as well to look at how God's calling you to expand. Um, and a huge piece of expansion too is deepening your peace. Where are you making choices that feel really good, that deepen your peace? And where do you notice that you might have a pattern uh, where you keep doing something because you think it's going to bring good results, but the, the consequence actually is not so good and to look at healing those areas. All right, next card. Go. Oh. <laughs> Say yes to your higher calling. Be a human exclamation mark. Well, this is God really disciplining me about my life purpose in a really beautiful way. Um, as you notice, I haven't done many videos this month, actually it's March and I, February just kind of flew by. I was starting a new job, but this is my lifeblood and it's much more than doing a video. Uh, it's about attending to my vibration. Um, you know, Shalia, I remember when she said in a class that the greatest gift you give to another is your vibration. There's no greater gift you give to the planet. And I can see I've been attending to that in some ways and in other, I have a lot of room to grow there. Uh, for me, attending to my vibration is watching the classes diligently, uh, getting good sleep, good food, um, showing up with my whole self at work, but then also still prioritizing um, my studies of, you know, Twin Flame Ascension School and my spiritual work above all, because truly the fruits are that good of it. It's, I don't just do it. It's not just a ritual to check something off. Uh, Mark, it literally transforms my life for the better to do this work. And so I, I choose to embrace my higher calling and live it in a deeper way. And I invite you to uh, say yes to your higher calling too. It's, um, it is what makes you feel alive. And I have noticed that piece, every time I don't film videos, there is a piece missing. Your life purpose is so crucial to feeling whole and happy and complete. And I promise you, wherever you're at in your life, there is something you can do, no matter where you are, to express who you really are, to live your life purpose. So please say yes to your higher calling. No greater joy. That is how God created you, to, uh, to love the world as only you can. And finally, beautiful. I love this dream sanctuary, attend to the simple things. This is for me is about harmony and balance in life and attending to the simple things is like, Dan is really good at helping me see if I don't love even like helping me see where I'm loving and where I'm not loving. Well, uh, like for example, getting to things on time, like, if you're going to do something, do it well. The simple things, be on time, plan it out well. If you can't do it well, literally reconsider whether you want to do that. If I'm going to go out tonight and be tired tomorrow, that's a simple thing just to consider when I need to go to bed. Um, what kind of food and drink is healthy for and feels good to me? Um, what kind of associations feel good? Like the simple things, what... Um, do I need to do so that I show up at my, at my at, show up at my best in life? Everything in your life is really sacred. And I feel how, you know, I had this really, you know, amazing opportunity at this new job. And I feel how God is, um, they talk about God does see everything you do. You don't, there's nothing you can hide. So all those little opportunities, am I going to love my client perfectly, attend to all the details, make sure my energy is good and I can give all of myself? God's noticing. If I want that six figures this year, I need to show up with my whole self every single day. And 
that's what I, you know, I really, cause I have had to have some nights where, you know, right now it's, you know, I'm in a new city in Madison. It's easy to have a lot of fun and not have all the energy I need the next day. And I can tell it does not feel good to not be able to give my whole self and my love to my clients and my job. And that is me loving God. There's no part of your life that isn't showing your love for God. Don't undermine any part of your life. You show up for work, you're loving God at work. You're doing the dishes, you're loving God and your family and, and yourself through those dishes. You're loving God in how you treat um, the person that, you know, the stranger you meet. Um, it's just about staying with peace and making sure that you're showing up at your best. And sometimes it's just the simple things that support that. So amazing reading. Um, just to uh, go over it again, um, it began with this choice to allow God to expand. Allow yourself. God wants to take you to the next level of your life. Just choose it right now. Be open to it. Um, which ties in the second card. To expand your life is truly to go deeper into your purpose because there's nothing that's going to be more meaningful in expanding than to do the thing you love the most. If you're going to expand, do it with who you truly are by sharing your deepest love, your deepest joy, your deepest passion. And the way to do that is to attend to the simple things. If you don't know how to share your gift, just love love every area of your life. Maybe, you know, what God will point, you will notice it. I need to clean my house. I need to go to bed earlier. <laughs> I need to um, study more. I need to do, you know, love myself more. Whatever it is, those simple things are actually hugely important in um, forming that happy, harmonious life. All of those little pieces are what create success in life. Uh, Jeff, you know, once did a money mastery class and he said a millionaire is just somebody who is smart with their money and a millionaire in love or whatever you want to be a millionaire in money, love, friendships. That's somebody who attends to every thing that God presents them, no matter how big or small and loves it. Uh, and make sure that that you know area of their life is fully loved. So I hope this video inspires you to claim your purpose and claim your joy. I believe God is calling you to a greater level. And with that greater level comes this uh, beautiful and joyful responsibility to, um, to tend to that higher reality. And it's worth it. So I bless you on your path. And I promise you will be seeing more of me soon. Thank you.